Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be doing a first impression review on the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Give this big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And question of the day, have you ever tried ColourPop? And if so, what is your favorite product? Let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so as always with my reviews, we're gonna start off with me giving a little bit of information about the product details, then we're gonna go into the application process and we will end with my pros and cons and my final review of the product. So let's go ahead and get into the product details. So this is the Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder from ColourPop. It is part of their Pretty Fresh collection, which includes a tinted moisturizer, a liquid foundation, as well as a concealer. I do have their tinted moisturizer. I love it. I also purchased the Pretty Fresh Concealer. This has been out for a little while. This face powder comes with 8.5 grams. That is 0 0.30 ounces. We have the compact. It actually, I love the shape of it. It's like a rounded square. And then inside, we have a mirror that actually takes up like the entirety of the compact right here so this did come with a little sponge of its own that went right here pretty fresh on the back it has pretty fresh as well as the shade so I got the shade 8 light 8 but this does come in 18 shades it is a buildable and creamy powder formula which blends down to a skin like finish for an extra fresh looking revived complexion it has ingredients such as sunflower seed extract and cucumber fruit extract, which helps to hydrate and soften skin so it never looks dry or settles in fine lines. As it has light buildable coverage, perfect for wearing alone, to set makeup, or for touch-ups throughout the day. For light coverage, use a fluffy brush. For more coverage, use the pressed powder puff that it comes with. So as I said before, this comes with 0 0.30 ounces and it is $14 and it is on the ColourPop website. I don't believe that Ulta has it yet. Let me make sure. Oh, I stand corrected. Ulta does have it on their site. However, they only have 12 shades on there. So if you can't find your shade on Ulta, go to the ColourPop website where they do have all 18 shades. All right, so now that we have talked about the product details, let's go into the application. So as far as what I put on underneath, I put on what I usually do in the morning. So I put on some of the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream with SPF 30. And then over top of that, I put my Bare Republic mineral face lotion with SPF 30. I decided to use the little face puff that it comes with. Uh, I did that on this side of the face. So I went in with one coat of that. I loaded that puff and then just, I started kind of towards the center of my face and then worked my way out. And I just kind of swiped, I used swiping motions with this. And it does, I think it does give a bit more of a full coverage if you use this puff and just do the swiping motion. I went all over this side of my face once and this is what it looks like. And then I decided to go in just one more time to see how much we could build this up. And here is what it looks like after the second application. So then I decided to try it with a damp beauty sponge. And so that is what I did with this half of the face. So I went in, grabbed some of the product with my sponge, and then I tapped it onto the face. So I didn't really use as much of a swiping motion with the sponge, I used a tapping motion. And this is what it looks like after the first application. So then I decided to go in with a little bit more since that definitely didn't have as full of coverage as the first application on the other side. So I went in with a little bit more and this is what it looks like after the second. All right, so now let's go into the pros and cons and my final review of this product. So I'm gonna start off with cons and I really only have one, but I feel like it is kind of a big one. So in my opinion, with me and my face, this does settle into fine lines or dry spots or any wrinkles that you might have on your face. I don't have too many fine lines or wrinkles yet. I do have some underneath my eyes. So it definitely settled right there around my nose as well as under my eyes. I did put this concealer on today. I'm not actually a huge fan of it so far. And then I attempted to set my concealer 
with this powder because I do sometimes do that with the Bare Pro uh, powder foundation that I just tried out. I do sometimes use that as an under eye setting powder. But I definitely have noticed it's accentuating kind of the lines that I have under my eyes a little bit more than usual. And then <laughs> there was, here I'll show another shot of it, but it was almost like I had a little milk mustache but with the powder. It was really weird and I don't tend to notice the little hairs above my upper lip, but it like, I 100% notice them after putting this on. That's my only con with this product, but it is kind of a big one. I think especially if you do have dry skin. Okay, so I forgot, I do have one more con. For some reason, ever since I applied this, my eyes have been burning and watering like crazy. And actually, I had a hard time looking at the camera because my eyes were just watering so bad when I was putting it on. So I don't know if there's something in here that my eyes just don't like. Even now, my eyes are still like slightly burning. As I have said a billion times before on my channel, I have very sensitive eyes. Uh, they are like, there's a slight burn like at almost all times with my eyes, but for some reason this was like, I'll show you a clip. I just could not like get it under control for a little while right after I put it on. So. I think that there is something that's not agreeing with me in this. So moving on to pros. Pro number one is that it does feel very light on my face. Like I don't feel anything. It, it feels like I'm not wearing anything on my face, which I always like and is one of the things I really like about powder foundations. Pro number two is that there is definitely a gradient shade range. There are 18 shades of this powder. Looking at this picture right here, it really does seem like it is gradient from the lightest shade to the darkest shade. So that is nice to see in a product. And pro number three, this is easy to apply. So this took little to no time to get it to where it is. Um, it probably would have taken even less time if I wasn't actually filming it and I you know, wasn't trying to look somewhat decent while putting it on. I do really want to see how it goes on with a brush. The back of the box did say for light coverage, use a fluffy brush. So I am a little curious to see what this would look like uh, when using a brush. Okay, so as far as what my final score for this product is, I'm gonna give this four stars. I was about to give it 3.5, but it's, it's somewhere between three and a half to four stars for me. It does settle into my fine lines. It does give me like a bit of a mustache above my lip. Um, so it doesn't look as good as some of my other foundations that I have. Recently comparing it to the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation that I tried out, which if you did not see that video, I'll link it up a little bit up there. I think I preferred the Bare Pro Foundation. This is definitely a higher price point though. I'll give this four sunflowers. All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As far as my answer to question of the day, my favorite ColourPop product probably has to be, of course, the Brow Boss Gel. I wear it in blonde. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.